Hello guys and welcome back to DevOps community once again. In today's video, we are going to deploy React Native iOS application with Azure DevOps to App Center. So for that, I have created a blog also and I have put it uh, GitHub. My code is on GitHub. You can also take it from there. So for that, we need to jump it into the Azure DevOps folder. So this is Azure DevOps folder where I need to create the pipeline. So first, what you need to do, you need to go into the library. You need to create a upload the certificates and the mobile provisions files and uh, you need to create a variable. I have created the variables uh, name it as a mobile and uh, app certificate and put it uh, like that. Then after that you need to create a new pipeline. So just create a new pipeline. Select the source code what uh, where you have put your source code so i have my source code is on bitbucket so i need to select bitbucket and uh, then select my repo so just wait a sec for loading i need to select put my app so and this is the app that we have so this is the pipeline we need to create the pipeline where is it so just need to copy, uh, remove everything and paste it uh, from the GitHub that I have added over there. So you can directly go on the GitHub, check it, the code where we have. You don't need to copy these things and paste it over. So what we are doing, uh, we are triggered the branch, uh, including the master. Then we have our variables that we created called uh, mobile. And we are taking the Mac OS status. Then we are doing the installation of certifications. Once the certification is got installed, then we are provisioning the profiles. Then we are installing Coca, uh, Coco Pots. Then we are doing the Xcode build. Uh, and after that, we are building, copying other uh, IPA and uh, publish to the container port. That's it. Then what you should done, you need to save and uh, run this. Just save it. And so just go back your pipeline got created just need to run that pipeline so for run you need to enable the diagnosis so we can get the better details for the visualization purpose so uh, let's wait while it will connecting with the server so as you can see you need to permit the access so i need to permit the access for that permitted so let's wait uh, while uh, it will connect into the server so it will take time so just wait for 10 to 15 minutes for uh, completion of build so just wait for it so as you can see our pipeline got triggered it's signalizing the job Let's check out is doing the installations of provision uh, what we can do guys uh, we can stop the video and uh, once the build got succeeded then i will get back to you because uh, if uh, i was taking that much time it will take too much long so it will take too long to uh, video is too longer so just pause these things and uh, once build is succeeded then i will get back so as you can see guys uh, build is gonna deploy it so we have that artifacts what you need to do you need to go into the release i have already created the release for creating a short video so just go and edit the release so you need to select your 
uh, your artifacts over there and as you can see we have selected the ios version we have uh, created this log like uh, your organizations and whatever the name that you put it uh, of your slug uh, of your ios app center then you need to build put it the binary path that you specified you can create the release uh, and you can specify some release that you want and uh, what kind of sample that you want so i wanted to run as apple so that's why i was created apple and uh, what i need to do i need to uh, create the release simply create the release and uh, deploy it so my release, release got created need to approve it uh, once it is approved it will connecting to the server and uh, so as you can see it's analyzing the job waiting for the request to be queued once uh, the request got queued uh, it's gonna be deployed so it's waiting for our server to connect So as you can see job is analyzed and uh, once the job is analyzed it can download the artifacts and after that they can do the deployment so let's wait for it while it's deploying So it will take around 2 to 3 minutes so let's wait for it while it is analyzing and after that they can download the artifacts and deploy to the app center. So as you can see job is in light, it's downloading the artifacts and now it's gonna deploy to the IPA into the app center. So once it's deployed we got new version. So as you can see our pipeline uh, our code is deployed you can directly check it from ios so as you can see we have new version got deployed if i do refresh and save it to you so this is the release that we get it yeah as you can see this is all the releases that we just uh, uh, get it yeah okay thank you that's it from my side if you have any questions so just comment down below i will take a look Thank you, bye-bye.